maybe I just play movement by movement. Okay, it, as you like. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Oh, you want you want you if you prefer playing the whole piece, it's no problem. Maybe we're movement by movement. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yep. Sorry, I lost my headphone during playing. That's okay, it's okay. Bravo, I said beautiful, beautiful playing. Uh, this sonata for me uh, belongs to 
the soldados by Ben were that very much influenced by Haydn. And there are even, I can find some quotes from Haydn sonatas that are similar to what's happening here. Um, do you play Haydn sonatas? Yes. Have you played a C major sonata? Yes. You know, there's some similarity between, you know, all this stuff comes from, from this sonata. And I think it's amazing how uh, Haydn influenced Beethoven in, in early. And of course, uh, Beethoven comes into his own very much so in this piece. Uh, this movement is full of contrasts, you know, and there is full of major and minor uh, elements that uh, contrasting all the time. And humor, of course. Um, but there's also this, you know, heftiness of, of Beethoven, you know, like, you know, things, you know, things like this, it's already, you can see the, uh, the personality of, of a young Beethoven, you know, um, I have, I'll check with you one thing, one thing, you have measure numbers? Yes. Can you check measure, can you start from this section? Can you play for me this once? Until, uh, until double bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, D, D major, until double bar. Correct. It's, uh, one, the, the, two, three, yeah. There are more rest to it. <laughs> Much later. Mm -hmm. Play one more time. It's a it's a mistake a lot of people are making. It's, it's still, it's better, but it's a little bit too soon. Three, four. Still, still a little bit too soon, but it's better now. There's an extra uh, rest. Dum, bum, 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 bum. Yes, yes, that's good. That's good. You know, the beginning is like a question answer a little bit. Um, I would. A little bit more vibrant, you know, when you have this. You know, It's like a joke in a way, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One more, more time. Okay. Um, um, you know, when you have the one note is eighth and the other is quarter. Uh, the quarter is a little bit longer. Okay. You 
know, we have to follow the text. You know, I think if he wanted to write two eight notes, it would be what you're playing. But it's a yeah. little bit longer, I think. Yeah. It's like add a vibrato to the second note. That That's what I would say to a string player, you know. But a pianist, it, it can trap a little bit longer. Yeah. Also, it's a downbeat, so it's a little bit more important. This is not beat. This this is not beat. And then sing. There is a crescendo there in this measure. So maybe a little bit more expressive and vibrant. Play it on the beat, not this. And then make sure that the left hand is very legato. And not this. The last two chords are non legato. Make a difference. We have to be very uh, careful with texture. In, in Beethoven. I think it's he very clearly marks what he wants legato and non legato, etc. You know, you can try one more time, please. Very good, much better. One has to assume that if he writes such big chords in the left hand, he wants melody to, to be also much more bel canto. Yeah. More, he's very influenced by the opera. I mean, it's pretty heavy accompaniment, so... a lot of curves and, and maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit but you know what I mean yes mm -hmm. do one more time one last time It's also legato. Play 5-4 in the top. So you really achieve the legato as much possible, as much as possible. Fortissimo, make a difference. Yes. But, you know, much more excitement towards Sforzando okay. in the right hand. And also, in Beethoven, it's never an accompaniment. It's always an um, important voice in orchestrating the... You know, always movement and, and uh, vibrancy. Clear. That's what I mean by hide. I don't hear all the notes. And also in the right hand, 
I want this voice. More the low voice when you answer. Okay. Try. Also, you know, when you start, when you hear the difference between octave and chord, I want immediately to hear all four notes. in a long time but and each for Sandu a little bit more you know how they say in Beethoven when he writes many successive uh, Sforzandos each one is a little bit more so a little bit different you know things when you get here sing a little bit it's not uh, he is looking for melody you know he finally reaches and then here very important the upbeat is still in piano if you look at the score, you see that the fortissimo starts only on the downbeat. Yeah. Both times. Yeah. So do this, it's a surprise. Okay. Short. The surprise is very short. And then Staccato. This one is not clipped. Not you playing in staccato. I think it should be. And, and much shorter, I think. They're all eight notes with, with a sign. Do one more time. Yeah. From there, from there then. Yes, except, except for that this is already legato. It's legato still. Yes. Yes. Beethoven does not 
not make our life easy here because he wants this not he wants this not long yeah not staccato Yes. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Much better. Now, in the development section, you know, they have a lot... Like in Haydn. I would have more direction. You, you can decide. Maybe this... It's not always the same. Uh, maybe it, boom, boom. you know, there yeah. should be some kind of a direction, dynamic direction. Yes. Sometimes uh, it's not quite rhythmical in the right hand. The proportions between the triplets and the sixteens are not quite uh, correct yet. So try one more time. this section is played very well but it's uh, slower than before ah, if you want okay. to play the whole sonata in this tempo it's fine by me yeah. but you mm -hmm. maybe maybe that you're playing too fast everything that this but oh you it play a little fun if you want Fast the tempo, just try to do it. Okay. in particular that when he writes fortissimo it's uh, an extra effort yeah. or when he writes pianissimo also it's an extra effort and in this sonata there is more fortissimos and pianissimos than almost any other sonata that I can think of so maybe he wants more contrast you know for instance you have you have fortissimo in in measure 89 mm -hmm. it has to be different than before, you know? Yeah. It's very extremely dramatic. The, the dynamics of this uh, movement are ex very extreme, you know. Of course, it's it's uh, a very young piece and, and you know, and very classical, but, but I think it means something, you know, for us. That if you write, the, there's usually they write piano or forte, you know, but but if they go pianissimo and fortissimo, it's an extra effort for us. Within classical style, of course. Yes. So can you try to play that, having it in mind? Um, from yeah, yeah, that's good. Yes, very good. 
much better. But here, try to feel feel in the space. You you're a little bit late in your right hand. Okay. Uh, but I will. You know, feel it, feel feel the spaces with the right hand. Yes, much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. It's uh, it's not easy. It's hard. It's a wrong, it's a false uh, recapitulation in a way because yeah. it's in D major. It's in D major. So, uh, you know, he starts like in the beginning. And then he realizes he, that he's in the wrong territory. And here he does not write crescendo. trying to get out of it. So I'm exaggerating now, but I'm tr maybe in my imagination, I think one has to play it almost without any expression. It's like a little bit lost. Lost, yes. Yeah. But of, co of course, almost in tempo and everything. And then... is back at home, you know. Mm -hmm. So just use your color, your imagination to mm -hmm. to make to make it sound different from okay. anything else. play now the we now in the recapitulation it's the same thing yes. so why don't you play second movement now
wonderful. Uh, the tempo in the beginning was seemed to be faster than in the recapitulation. I think, that, and yes. also the middle section, you seem to have established the correct tempo. Yeah. Tempo. So, having that in mind, can you start again and in, in not as fast? And uh, you know, at the beginning also, it's it's maybe the darkest mo uh, moment in the whole sonata. Mm -hmm. The fact that it starts in unison and it's in a bass, it's extremely unusual and uh, very beautiful. And and of course, there's just sunlight coming. Mm -hmm. So. And very legato. Can you start one more time, please? Okay. Uh -huh. It's too fast. I think it's too fast. Wow. Piano, not pianissimo here. Pianissimo now. Uh, Antos, uh, do you have uh, Sfarzanda? you have also also here at the beginning you know there is this in Beethoven in particular there is always that uh, very often often there is this resistance if if let's say if the woodwind instrument would play it or a string player they would know how to slow down the motion. In, for pianists, it's easier. It's easier to go faster. Yeah, uh, and, tension, and yeah. yeah, the tension, you know. Just a little bit more resistance, okay. like you know, you're pushing against something that is not easy. You know, yeah. yours is like you hot, hot uh, knife with with a very soft butter. You know, it just goes down very easily. But I would do the opposite. to bring the upper voice more. I think all three notes are important. And then give me more sunlight in the top. And very legato.
much better. But uh, anyway, that, that's the other different sound. Yes. Yeah. Also, I would play a little bit sure. A little faster. You might want also to consider playing, when you repeat, play more with the, the lower voice. Oh. It's just a consideration. More you don't have to. <laughs> yes, more misterioso, yes. Yeah, okay. Continue. I would still bring a little bit more. It's such a powerful harmony. You're staying you're a little bit shy about it. I don't know if it's... It's not even stronger, it's more expressive, you know. comes. So this is still piano. We have to make an effort. That's all very good. That's all very good. That's all very good. How about a little bit more? Again, sfarzando but expressive. Almost like a scream. Crescendo is much more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes.
Antus, you seem to you seem to like to shorten your rests. <laughs> In Beethoven, the, the rests are so important. Yes. Don't shorten them and don't make them longer either. It's somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all very good. The same, it's the same thing. Now I, yeah. I want to yeah. uh, do as much material as possible. Play the finale ones. Yeah. movements <laughs> of Beethoven. You know, the, the early sonatas are very difficult. And this movement that gave me so much trouble, I remember. It's, there's just so many little things that, that needs to be, you know, uh, all the clarity, to, to achieve the clarity. And not to accent when it's not necessary, you know, but yeah. make your life a lot easier if you don't accent. You know, Sfarzandos, yes, but everything else, very light and mm -hmm. and as fast as you can, you know, it just should be faster than this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think so also. But, but I think you are on the right track and uh, bravo, thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you, thank you.